In an earlier video, we presented the measurement model in detail. We have also learned about techniques that can be used to normalize mixtures of densities. And we have even discussed the interpretation of the weights and densities in these mixtures. Given all of these results, we are now ready to present the general update equations in detail. These equations are useful when we later present a complete conceptual solution. Also, two of the algorithms that we present in the next section can be derived directly from the equations in this video, and it is therefore reasonable to look at this part in detail. Before we turn to the technical details, I'd like to clarify what we're about to derive. To do this, let us return to the example that we looked at in the videos about the measurement model. Like before, we have scalar states and measurements. The probability of detection is constant, and the object likelihood has a Gaussian form. The difference is that we now have a prior on x, which is Gaussian with mean 0.5 and variance 0.5. And we are going to compute the posterior density of x. Because we have two measurements, we obtain three hypotheses, corresponding to the object being undetected, z1 being the object detection, and z2 being the object detection. Like the measurement model, the posterior can be decomposed into one term for each of the three hypotheses. In the figure, we visualize the prior using a blue dotted curve. The contribution from the hypothesis that the object is undetected is the green point dashed curve. The contribution from the hypothesis that Z1 is an object detection is the Zion colored curve with circles. And the contribution from the hypothesis that Z2 is an object detection is the magenta colored dashed curve. Finally, the posterior is the sum of these three functions, illustrated by a solid black curve. In this video, we derive detailed expressions for w theta and p theta of x for general functions p of x, pd of x, lambda c of c, and the object likelihood g of o given x. That is, even though the above visualization concerns the toy example, our derivations cover the general case with nonlinear functions and high dimensional state and measurement vectors. In an earlier video, we described the measurement model on the following form. Inside the brackets, we have one term, 1 minus pd of x, corresponding to the hypothesis that theta is equal to 0, and then m more terms for theta equal 1 to m. Outside the brackets, we then have some factors that are shared by all terms and that do not depend on x. As you know, the posterior is proportional to the prior times the likelihood. We can now plug in the expression for the likelihood and move the constant terms into the proportionality constant. This leaves us with the following expression, where we have a sum over m plus 1 terms and an unknown normalization constant. A posterior expressed on this form is impractical to use. Instead, we want to express it as a mixture of densities on this form, where the terms contain a weight w theta and a density p theta of x. In the video where we studied how to normalize mixtures of densities, the unnormalized weight for the individual term was just the integral of the original function. For the hypothesis that theta is equal to zero, which means that the object is undetected, the original function is p of x times one minus pd of x. And the unnormalized weight, w tilde zero, is therefore just the integral of that function. We also learned in that video that the density is obtained by normalizing the original function. And p zero of x is therefore p of x times one minus pd of x divided by the integral of the same product. Similarly, for the hypothesis where theta is greater than zero, which means that the object is detected, the original functions are p of x times pd of x times g of z theta given x divided by lambda z of z theta. To obtain the weight for one of those hypotheses, we simply compute the integral of that function, where we note that lambda c does not depend on x and can therefore be extracted out from the integral. To obtain the density, p theta of x for a hypothesis stating that the object is detected, we take the original function and normalize it by its integral. In this case, the lambda c factor cancels out, and we are left with p of x times pd of x times g of z theta given x, divided by the integral of the same function. To obtain the normalized weights w theta, we simply normalize the weights w tilde theta. In the next video, we study the expressions for both the weights and the densities, and check how they simplify when we have a constant PD and a linear and Gaussian object measurement likelihood. 
However, even before that, it may be interesting to compare the densities p theta of x to the posterior density when we directly observe the object measurement matrix O. Since we have claimed that p theta of x is the posterior density given the data association, these should be closely related. You could pause the video here and try to explain it to yourselves before I proceed. In the section about models, we found that the distribution of the object measurement matrix, p of o given x, takes the value 1 minus pd of x, if o is an empty matrix, and pd of x times g of o given x, if the matrix capital O is the vector lowercase o. It follows that the posterior of x given O is the prior P of x times the above likelihood function. This means that the posterior takes the value P of x times 1 minus PD of x if O is an empty matrix, and P of x times PD of x times G of O given x if the matrix O is the vector lowercase o. If we now compare this to the expression for P theta of x, we see an interesting relation. If theta is equal to zero, which implies that the object is undetected, p theta of x is identical to the posterior of x given that O is an empty matrix. This makes sense, since O is an empty matrix when the object is undetected. If theta takes an integral value between 1 and m, we know that z theta is an object measurement, which means that O is equal to z theta. We also see that p theta of x is identical to p of x given O when we set O equal to z theta. Hopefully, you agree that all of this makes a lot of sense. The conclusion from this slide is that p theta of x is identical to the posterior of x given the object measurement matrix O. If we use the data association hypothesis theta and the matrix Z to determine the object measurement matrix O.